Hello there. This is just a quick little video tour of uh, 1047 South Riverside. Uh, the home has two driveways, so one in front of the uh, single car garage over here, and another one where that white Silverado pickup is. That is where we used to store our RV, but it's nice to have the two driveways. And of course there's ample street parking. So the house comes with one remote for the garage door. Inside the garage, I got some filtration devices. You got your wash and dryer there. They're on the older side, I admit, but this house was never really lived in, so they probably got about a year's use on them. If there is any problems, we will replace the pair. Hot water heater is here. The entrance to the house is right here. There's the pool guy. Happy Friday. This is the kitchen right off the garage. I love that. You don't have to haul your groceries very far. So all new appliances. Uh, nice ice and water maker on this fridge. Got a little pantry over here. We used it as just extra storage for the kitchen. And you've got the uh, additional bedroom or office. Uh, it's got its own bathroom, closet. And uh, back through the kitchen here. Continue on with the tour. So you've got lots of cabinets. Uh, they're all really good quality. They all have these uh, slide out drawers. So tons of storage. Living room, got the painted beam ceilings, got the decorative fireplace, got the built-in little nooks, front door, double door, really nice to get your furniture in. Um, I love hanging out out here actually. You know, before dinner, spend a little time sitting out here chatting with the neighbors. I've left these uh, Mexican chairs out. Uh, they were here when I bought the house, so I figured I'd leave them. Uh, same with these armoires. There's a couple of them that are great for storage. We used to keep our Christmas decorations in this one. You know, stuff that you wouldn't really want anyone to, to steal. But it's a nice ample storage. Sure, you can move it inside if you want to. But yeah, this porch is fantastic. You got views all the way out to Big Bear. Uh, but the real deal is, of course, the backyard. So, I'll give you a little tour of the backyard, and then we'll continue on with the bedrooms. So, got these beautiful aluminum sliding doors. So, uh, often, like on a Sunday morning, we open up. The double doors up front and these and get this beautiful breeze coming through in the winter months uh, it's just fantastic so there's another one of those armoires we've got uh, what we do is we, we keep our towels in there and we throw the used towels in the baskets and when the baskets are full well laundry time my pool guy working on that. Um, this is something you'll need to do or use. So we've got two hoses here, but one outlet. One of them, the short hose, is for the misters. And these are fantastic. You turn these on and you can hang out up here all day. And then we've got something else. I'm going to shut this off. got the um, swamp cooler. I don't have much use for it in Colorado so I'm leaving this behind as well as the uh, patio furniture. But basically you just make sure that it's always got water. If this needle goes counterclockwise to the E, you cannot run the pump. If you run the pump without this being full of water, you will burn out the pump. This is a uh, $800 pair of uh, 
air conditioner. So you turn on the pump, and then you turn on the cooler, low, low. So this allows you to sit out here or here and actually enjoy the outdoors. got the uh, timers. So the lights have timers on them. They go on just before it gets dark. The timers can be adjusted by these two boxes that are back here. So one is for the pool light and the other one is for the path lighting we call it. And this is your breaker box and your electrical back here. All your pool equipment is back here, but it's all on timers. And of course you got the pool, it looks fantastic. Good job. It's looking good. You know, I don't know what, uh, I told Jerry about that stuff in the deep end there between oh. the drains. Yeah, it's from he the palm it tree. it might be from the palm seeds. Yeah. yeah, it is. I scrubbed the heck out of it, I can't get it out. It's, it's fine. They're going to come and do the palms uh, next week, I believe. And then you got your, your hot tub. All your controls are here. You've got your lounger, which is pump one. And then you've got your second pump, which is the left side. That's one is the right side, two is the left side, but the controls are here. By uh, your temperature, I brought it down to 65, um, and then your light switches, your LEDs are here. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Go back inside the house. So, yeah, here's that umbrella we had discussed. There's the patio door to the office, the window to the small back bathroom. All the lights, there's three separate light switches for these outdoor lights. Um, one of them is here, and one of them is at the far end of the room. So, this is what we called the guest bedroom. Um, something strange happened this morning. The, uh, this piece is actually held in place with Velcro. So I put new pieces on, I put these clamps here that you'll, you know, probably not want to look at. So take those off and move in. Uh, guest bedroom, nice big closet. Hallway, oh, thermostats, this is important. Got a thermostat here. Uh, I usually, when you get to the house, It'll probably be 80 degrees. Uh, there's another one over there by the mirror. Um, I, I always put the um, thermostats at 80 when I'm gone, and then I turn them on as soon as I walk in the door, and I, I, I keep the place at about 72, uh, between 70 and 72 at all times, and it's very comfortable. At night, I turn this part of the house off, and I turn this one down to 70. So. 80 during the day, 70 during the day, 80 at night, 70 at night. Uh, en suite for the guest room, master bath, and master bedroom. Big walk-in closet. Uh, got a nice view of the pool from here. And uh, yeah, that is about it. Anything else we can probably discuss over the phone.